Groundwater is sensitive to variations in climate. In Timor-Leste, this is clearly evident with the groundwater flows responding quickly to the pronounced wet and dry seasons. Climate change projections indicate that Timor-Leste's rainfall and sea level could change into the future. This could affect groundwater availability and quality. The ultimate source of groundwater is rainfall. In Timor-Leste, rainfall is concentrated in the mountains, occurring predominantly during the summer wet season. Rainfall recharges the groundwater aquifers, which is then used by the community. Changes in rainfall patterns due to climate change are likely to change groundwater flows and therefore the amount of available groundwater for Timor-Leste. The final destination of groundwater is typically the sea. Groundwater sits in a continually shifting balance with seawater along the coast of Timor-Leste. This may be affected by sea level rise as a result of climate change. So that water that we saw falling as rain in the mountains flows through the fractured rock and it comes out here. In the wet season, this is a large flow, but as you can see now, during the dry, it's just a trickle. This shows just how quickly groundwater responds to changes in rainfall in Timor-Leste. In just one season, many of the groundwater springs higher in the mountains have reduced flow or dry up altogether in the summer months. Further down the hills, water in groundwater springs were dated to be, on average, around 10 years old. If rainfall patterns were to change significantly, Within years to decades, many communities living in the higher mountain areas would need to find an alternative source of water other than natural springs. This makes these areas vulnerable to climate change. <laughs> the sedimentary aquifers are recharged from rainfall from in the mountains that comes down through the rivers. This flows into the aquifer, recharging it. Because these sedimentary intergranular aquifers are dependent not only on direct rainfall but also the more far off mountains, climate change can affect the groundwater from a distance. These sedimentary aquifers are also typically flat and low lying, sitting along the coast of Timor-Leste. This makes them more vulnerable to sea level rise, which can push seawater into freshwater aquifers. This means the sedimentary aquifers are vulnerable to both changes in rainfall and sea level rise. Importantly, these coastal areas often support denser populated communities, including Timor-Leste's capital, Dili. And this is where the groundwater ends up. After falling as rain on the plateau, going through the limestone caves, it reaches its final destination, the sea. This example from the limestone springs in Macau is true for the majority of groundwater in Timor-Leste, which flows from higher elevations in the mountains and eventually discharges at the sea. From the mountains to the sea, the people of Timor-Leste rely on groundwater. Groundwater use and availability needs to be managed responsibly into the future to reduce the vulnerability of these communities to the impacts of climate change. Yeah.